Hello everyone, my name is Austin Metz, business reporter for the Holland Sentinel newspaper, and I uh, just wanted to speak with you um, about this morning and Black Friday shopping. I uh, just wanted to let you guys know about kind of how it went and what the scene was like. Uh, I spent most of my time on the West Shore Drive area by the mall and uh, started this morning at Dunham's. The store opened at 5 a.m. and I was very surprised to find absolutely no one in line. Um, it was one of the stores that was open on Thanksgiving Day for a few hours and uh, after talking with some employees of the store they said they sold most of the kayaks and guns uh, on Thanksgiving Day and were kind of anticipating a slower start to the day uh, for Black Friday and uh, two other stores kind of right around that area are Yonkers and Kohl's and I found both of those parking lots to be pretty bare and when I left there a little bit before six, um, yeah, there was, I think there were seven cars in Yonkers parking lot and uh, about the same in Kohl's. So from there, I, I headed over to Target and Target ended up being the busiest of my stops in the morning. And they opened at six uh, when I got there around, boy, I don't even know when I got there though. Um, there weren't too many people in line, but as it got closer to 6 o'clock, I would say about 5.45, 5.50, the line started picking up, and, and by the time they opened the doors, there was about mm, between 40 and 60 people. Um, it was a good crowd. Um, most of the people that I talked with in the line talked about how it's this year has just been slower than uh, they've seen in years past and uh, one couple ended up talking about how you know even they've been doing this Black Friday shopping for 10 years or so and they said that in the last five years with the uh, really the popularity of online shopping they've seen uh, a drop off on Black Friday people participating in Black Friday um, I don't necessarily know if it is that there's not as good a deals as there used to be uh, you know, if that's kind of the contributing factor or if it truly is just people are shopping online. Um, but from there, you know, I kind of bounced around. Uh, Menards opened at, I believe, six. Lowe's opened at the same time. And uh, the general consensus was just it was a slower Black Friday than, than anticipated. Um, it was encouraging. I will say I went to EcoBuns. Uh, they opened at 7 a.m. And uh, you know, for a small business like that, they, they opened bright and early and uh, there was a good crowd waiting outside the, the store to get in uh, right as it opened. So, you know, I, I covered Black Friday last year as well for the Sentinel. Uh, it was my first couple weeks in, but even, even last year, I saw kind of the same thing. Uh, numbers down for Black Friday. Um, but leading up to this did a lot of research into statistics and, and a lot of the reports were saying that it was going to be a busy Black Friday. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's Holland and there aren't as many um, stores or I don't know if people are going to Grand Rapids instead. But it definitely didn't have the excitement and the flair that I was expecting. And um, it was it was underwhelming if I, if I had to say it in one word. So um, I just hope that everyone has a great holiday. Don't forget that tomorrow is Small Business Friday, uh, Small Business Saturday, pardon me. And uh, there's a lot of businesses on 8th Street that are participating in other areas as well in Holland. So support local by uh, coming out on Small Business Saturday. And then, uh, yeah, take it to the, the internet on uh, Cyber Monday. Thanks. Bye.